Fine Green software has a familiar interface for CAD users. The first menus display the classic commands that exist in every CAD software. The last menus show the necessary commands for designing the building shell and for the calculations based on Energy Plus. To create a new project it is necessary to give the name of the project, and then the DWG file will open automatically. A BLD folder will be created in which the design and other necessary files will be saved. In case we have the architectural designs, we can open them, in order to use them as external references. With the explode command the entities of the design break into simple lines. The process is repeated until all the entities are split up into simple lines. During the execution of the command, the elements that will be split are selected and then we press the enter key. We can select all the elements of the project to make some change in the color of them so that the background has a specific color that will not distract when designing. Enter the wBlock command to create the a block for every level. It is important to select a point of the floor plan that is constant for all the levels as a base point of the block that we will create. For example, some point of a column or the elevator. By naming the drawing and giving the path of the folder, we can save it. Usually, the drawing is saved in the BLD folder of the project. We repeat the same process for all the other levels. When the process is finished we can close the architectural drawing without saving. From the definition menu, building definition, we can define each level by giving the xref file of the floor plan, the name, the height and the elevation. By selecting add up or down we add a new level to the building. Repeating the same process completes the definition of the levels. We can see that the drawings are located in the exact same point of each level. With the libraries command all the libraries of the program are being displayed. There are libraries for building materials, as well as many made templates for the systems that will be used later. By selecting a library, we can add data or edit already existing data. By choosing construction, we can see and select the typical elements that will be used in the project. Here, we select the typical options of our project from a wide range of construction data in the libraries. 
In this way, the selection of building entities in the design is much faster, since we have to choose from only a few elements that we can define, and not from the library as a whole. This process is followed for openings, exterior and interior walls, as well as for ceilings and floors. From building entities menu, the outer walls can be designed. Data that can be filled in are wall type, geometry, beam, and thermal bridges. By filling in this data and selecting OK, giving the first point, the next, and the side from which it will get thickness, the wall is placed. The interior walls will be designed following the same procedure. It is important that all other elements, like columns and openings, will be placed after the walls. The openings are designed by using the window command. Data on the type, geometric features, shape, thermal bridges and shading of the opening should be defined. By choosing accept and selecting the wall, the first point and the side that will get the length, the window is placed. By selecting placement, we can place the column. A column can be created either by giving its points or by giving a polyline. The necessary data to create a column is the type and the thermal bridges. The column can easily be copied to the other places that must be placed. A copy can be done with the copy-paste command and with the classic keyboard shortcuts Ctrl-C and Ctrl-V.
To create the floor and ceiling, we select the type of building element, the surface with which it borders, the points, and the hatch that we want to appear in the drawing. The floor and ceiling must be designed even if they are in contact with a heated area, in order to be calculated in Energy Plus. From the definition menu, Layer Management, we can lock some layers that we do not want to appear in the drawing. From the definition menu, select the command, Copy Building Floor. With this command in the case of standard floors, the data can be copied from one level to another. First we select the elements to be copied and then the level at which they will be copied. The design of the rest of the building shell for the other floors will be done with the same procedure. After the building shell is finished, with the command 3D view, the level is displayed in 3D display. From the quick access menu, using the command's visual style, we can see a realistic display of the level. With the axonometric command, the whole building is displayed in 3D. Using the command neighbor building definition, giving its points, level and height, the neighboring buildings are created. Those buildings are necessary for the shading. The connection of the adjacent building with a wall of the building shell is done by double-clicking on the adjacent building and selecting attach. Next, we select the wall that is shaded and a left click on the adjacent building. The lines that appear indicate that the connection has been made. The connection of the openings that are on the wall is done automatically. Horizontal cantilevers are created, giving its points, level, and thickness. Its connection to the walls is the same as the connection to the neighbor buildings. We draw the cantilever, giving the four points of its contour, and pressing enter. The commands for editing the outline of the horizontal cantilever plate, for editing the thickness, and for connecting the wall are also in the ribbon menu.